Hello everybody out there. Um, just wanted to um, hop in here with a short little video on drawing pansies. And that's what this is here. And got the blooms in here and the leaves down here. You could also add a few leaves. What I wanted to explain is I used um, two pencils one uh, is an 8B and one is an HB. So it doesn't have to be just that, but I, use, I only use two pencils and a small kneaded eraser. And um, it's all in the pressure and it's also in the direction. So these are farther back uh, petals and you can see right in here and here and here that where it's lighter, that's where the petal kind of folds over on itself and then under here is like the underside that you're looking at and you can see that in all of these a little clearer because this part this petal here is lighter than these petals um, when I did this every time that the petal went down I lightened up and every time the petal went out I got darker now, in some instances, I had to come back with my kneaded eraser and get it really, really thin and then come in here and just take it out. And, and that works as well. Back in the back, actually, I used this 8B pencil on almost all of it, um, except for these little lines here in the leaves, the little veins. And what I want to say about that is you need to make sure that when you're doing this, it's ve they're very light veins. You don't, they don't pop out at you. They shouldn't be the first thing your eye goes to, but they should curve in the shape of the leaf. So this leaf is not flat. So you want these little lines, just as tiny as they are, they make the biggest difference in the shape of the leaves. Also here, you can see where the light would be bouncing across here and hitting that. That's why this is lighter. This one here is a little lighter. Um, I, I could come in here and make this a little darker in here to give that piece right there to where it looks more like it's kind of turning over on itself. And what you have to remember is you're also working in the shape of the petal. This is not all straight lines. Um, in order to make them have more shape, you need to move the pencil in the shape of the uh, petal. And you also can notice that I did not, I'm not going back and forth. I'm just starting and going out. Okay, you have a little better control that way. And what that just did was it kind of made this part darker. Okay, and then it kind of makes this part turn back a little bit better. So this is just a practice thing. Um, I'll probably uh, paint uh, this pansy, but for right now, this was a really good fold right there. <laughs> and, and that's what you need to practice on. Um, put as many in as you can and just practice doing that. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect or sellable or usable or hangable, frameable, anything like that. Just learn how the process works. You'll In flowers, you'll use this a ton of different times and ways in all sorts of petals if you can learn to make it turn over on itself. Now, having said that, in pencil, I personally think it's a little more difficult because when you're working in paint or pastels or colored pencils, you've got the color that can help you. But, but it's... It's in learning, understanding what makes it work in pencil will actually help you 
in your painting. So thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed this today, and let's paint together real soon. Sharon Durbin Graves, Painting with Acrylics 101.com. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day.